favorite watershed songs. This one's on a short list for me anyway. And um, Joe is messing with this. And we're up in the loft in Michigan. And we'd have a lot of downtime. When I say downtime, I mean like Tim would leave us on this farm by ourselves with nowhere to go. And he'd just leave us there. So we had no, all we would do is play songs and hang out. And we started fooling around with this lick and it was pretty good. And I was like, I'm going to read some lyrics to this. And Joe had some idea of over too soon. And then Joe started singing his lyrics and I'm like, I'm out, man. Your tune. And, uh, and then we recorded this in one night. I was like awake for part of it and asleep for part of it. I don't even know what happened. I was on the sofa. Tell me about over too soon. What did I miss? Uh, Tim <laughs> Patlin playing the cello part. The cello part, that's what you miss. Yeah, yeah, there's a cello. Where was the cello? I never saw a cello in that time. Why was there suddenly a cello? I woke up, I was like, ah, oh. and I fell back asleep. Every now and then you have to run errands for Tim. Like, we're going to go see a guy about some stuff and pick up a brown paper bag and take it from one part of Michigan to another. It's strictly legit, strictly legit. I think the cello must have been in one of those brown paper bags. <laughs> Tim's place is like Vegas. There's no clocks. It's, uh, it's hard. It's hard. But he does that to you on purpose, like Colin said. But Tim's number one move for us was, I like one line in this song. You figure out which one it is. And when I come back, write a whole song around that one. See you in two days. Back to that backstory, we're going to play uh, Over Too Soon for you now, featuring Joey Strike on the lead vocals of it.